What's up guys and welcome. You are watching Fuzzy Fitness. James Holling's head is hardcore when it comes to training. Without a doubt, he has to be one of the strongest IFBB pros right now. And it really shows in his physique. His quads have blown up. His biceps are looking better. Plus, his abs are more developed because James has been hitting abs every other day for this season. I really believe that the race for the top 10 at the Olympia this year will be even harder than last year. Simply because a guy like James totally missed his mark at last year's Olympia. He really believed that at his best, he can be top 6. Arnold UK will be his first show of the season and we all are waiting to see a bigger and improved package there. Big Ramy talked about the rise of Egyptian bodybuilders with Dennis James because as of now, Mohammed Shaban and Hassan Mustafa both have qualified for the Olympia and both logged at their best at their respective shows. Rami confirmed that Hassan is willing to do Arnold Classic UK because him and the new coach AJ are still figuring out his body and a way to present his best package at the Olympia stage even better than what we saw at Orlando Pro. So, Hassan will be a great competitor in that Arnold UK lineup. Martin is another dangerous guy who is pumped to step on Arnold UK stage. But first, we will see him in Texas. He is a dangerous guy for so many reasons. He's being pushed by none other than Branch Warren. Branch beat so many great bodybuilders in his career who had better shape and better genetics than him simply because he was laser focused on bringing that granite look to the stage. Martin isn't going to be the biggest guy on stage both in Texas and Arnold UK and that's why the sole focus is conditioning. Branch is making him go through those insane posing rounds after workout. So that is another exciting talent coming up. I really want to see what the final package of Mark Hector will look like. He is a tall guy, very aesthetic build. He took more than two years off to completely focus on off-season after his last competition. And according to him, this approach has been very productive so far. He is midway under prep and already looking super impressive. Texas Pro is always a great show and it will live up to the reputation this year as well. We are all excited to see the best version of Keon Pearson at Texas Pro Stage. I do hope he sticks to the diet 100% as advised by his coach Patrick because we all know his problem is condition. If he is rock hard and dry like Sean Calrida, he will be fighting for the top 3 spot or even higher at the Olympia. Steve Kuklo must be the favorite to win Texas Pro. We saw two great versions of Steve at Arnold Classic and Boston Pro this year and he is determined to be even better 
in his hometown. The last time Steve was on the Olympia stage, he placed sixth. The year was 2019, so he has been sitting out of the Olympia for two years in a row. He will be turning 37 soon, so he can't afford to miss any more Olympia appearances. All credits to Rep1 for this footage of Tim Bodisham during his last depletion workout before Portugal Pro. The separation is just unreal and Tim hasn't even started loading carbs yet. If I'm not mistaken, Tim has been trying to get his first pro win and the Olympia qualification since 2017 San Marino Pro comes to my mind. He has been making improvements year by year and he is definitely one of the favorites to win Portugal Pro in four days. Fabian Meyer, who dominated Ampro Classic, isn't done yet. He has decided to enter Portugal Pro and grab another victory before he calls it a day and takes rest before starting his prep for the upcoming Olympia. This guy is complete from top to bottom. He looks to be in a splendid shape. It is gonna be extremely hard to deny him another victory here. Hit the thumbs up button if you like the video and smash the subscribe button if you wanna come back for more. Thanks for watching.